So as you can see by the title, we'll be discussing the best cybersecurity boot camps out there. And I always get questions and comments from you guys asking which cybersecurity boot camps are the most worth it. Some of them are niche in specific roles like cybersecurity analysts and others are more general and, and some are part of actual engineering schools like UC Berkeley. So this will be a really diversified list. So you have this broad list of options that can hopefully help you choose the perfect one just for you. And these bootcamps aren't ranked in any particular order, but the first one on this list is Iron Hack. So if you've ever looked up a list of the top bootcamps in any role in technology, you likely would have seen Iron Hack in those lists. And they're one of those platforms that don't just have courses in cybersecurity, but their cybersecurity course is definitely a popular one. The Iron Hack Cybersecurity Bootcamp is about nine weeks full time or about 24 weeks part time. On their website, they list multiple different cybersecurity topics that they'll cover, including network traffic, different cybersecurity breach prevention, as well as overall high level cybersecurity concepts. One thing to know about the Iron Hack cybersecurity course is that even though it can be done remotely, they actually have specific timeframes for when the bootcamp actually opens for enrollment. So if you apply right now, you actually won't be able to start the course until June or July of 2022, which obviously is about four months from now. So it's definitely not a great option if you wanna jump right into a cybersecurity course and hit the ground running right away. The full-time course is about $12,500 and a part-time course is a little more at about $13,000. Their website states that they have multiple different payment options. So there seems to be some flexibility there. But this is definitely one of the more rigid cybersecurity courses just because there's a select time frame and it honestly is a bit pricier even if there's a payment plan obviously twelve thousand dollars is a large amount of money and you definitely have to be sure that you want to go into cybersecurity before you enroll and pay for this expensive course and of course like any good cybersecurity boot camp would have they have the companies listed of where their students actually are hired by after they graduate the boot camp and some of these include facebook mastercard santander bank and uber which are tech companies or very well-known companies so you definitely have some proof to back them up and another thing that's interesting is at the end of the part-time and the full-time bootcamp, they actually have a thing called a career week, which I'm assuming is exactly what it sounds like. It's specifically dedicated to teaching the cohort about the job hunting process, interviews, resume preparation, technical interviews, and negotiating offers. So the whole gamut of basically finding a job I didn't see anything specifically about any companies that iron hack partners with directly, but it is really nice that they're also preparing you in that actual job search process. But first, did you guys know that the number one crime in America is actually identity theft, which actually happens to one in 20 Americans. And most times people are surprised when it happens to them, when you have constant data breaches or when using the same password for multiple different accounts across multiple different sites. So imagine you're trying to log into your email account and then you see that someone had actually changed your password recently. And then maybe you start getting notifications from your bank accounts, your crypto accounts, and any other account that you have that a hacker might want to take advantage of. And at that point, being in that situation, you're going to have a lot of anxiety and fear about what other information you have out there is being accessible to hackers and other criminals on the dark web which is why i'm so excited to be partnering with aura who is sponsoring this video so aura really is an all-in-one application with identity theft protection and insurance a vpn fraud monitoring password management and an anti-software to be used across multiple different devices and device types all in one platform Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, your passwords, your personal information, like social security numbers, and they will send you an alert if any of those are found exposed on the dark web. And obviously when it comes to fraud, every second that your personal information or accounts are vulnerable is so important. So with Aura, you can actually connect your credit cards and your bank accounts, and they will actually track all that for you and send you a notification if there's actually any suspicious activity that's found. And you actually get notified up to four times faster than Aura's competitors. And their VPN, of course, keeps you secure while you're browsing the web and all of your browsing history and personal information is kept safe and encrypted. And of course, their antivirus software will block malware and viruses before they infect your device. If your identity is compromised, all plans come with $1 million in identity theft insurance, as well as access to an experienced US-based customer team to help you resolve any incidents that may come out of a identity theft situation. So to protect you and your family from America's number one crime, you can try Aura for free for their two week trial and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. You can start your free trial at aura.com slash Sandra. Okay, so the next bootcamp on this list is the Columbia Engineering Cybersecurity Bootcamp. This is one of the few on this list that are part of an actual school, and it is also an Ivy League. So Columbia Cybersecurity Bootcamp is a 24-week bootcamp, and classes start quarterly. It's New York-based, but it's an online bootcamp, so definitely keep that in mind if you are someone who is living in a different time zone, 
But what I really like about this bootcamp is that it specifically lists the tools that you will actually be learning during the bootcamp, which are Wireshark, Metasploit, Nessus, as well as Kali Linux. And this whole list of tools, honestly, is very hacker focused. So that's something to keep in mind if you're someone who's, you know, interested in going into pen testing or just something more on the ethical hacking side of cybersecurity. It may not be the best role for a role like engineering or cyber intelligence, but it also says that they focus on the applicable skills to help you get beginner level certifications like the security plus network plus as well as the cloud plus and the ceh which is the certified ethical hacking certification and that one is a very popular early career cert for ethical hackers and it's definitely one that many employers are looking for when you're looking for those junior pen testing or you know mid-career pen testing roles and one thing they market about their program is that they are meant to be for someone who is already busy aka already has a full-time job or maybe they're going through school during this boot camp so they have weekend and evening courses which does make this boot camp a bit more flexible and they also have a list of career services that you can find on their website that they provide to all students of the bootcamp, which can also be a good help compared to what we saw with the Iron Hack bootcamp. So this bootcamp is definitely for someone who wants to do the hands-on work, hands-on technical work specifically for cybersecurity organizations. And this bootcamp also sprinkles in a little bit of coding in bash scripting and PowerShell scripting, which are also very good tools to have as someone who is going into IT or cybersecurity teams. So they are currently enrolling students for the cybersecurity bootcamp. And the first day is actually May 16th of 2022. Obviously you'll see that for a lot of these bootcamps, there's some time delay in terms of when you apply and then when you actually get in and start the actual learning during the bootcamp. But I will say that it is earlier than the Iron Hack bootcamp. And since they happen quarterly, you'll probably have a better chance of enrolling at the right time for you based on their timeline. And now in terms of payment, they do state that they have an interest-free six-month payment plan that you can choose as part of one of their financing options. But the cost of the cybersecurity bootcamp is just about $15,000, which honestly is a lot of money. But they also state on their website that they do have scholarships available as well as payment plans for eligible individuals who apply to their cybersecurity bootcamp. So all things to consider. The next bootcamp on this list is the Tech Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp. So they have multiple different online bootcamp options for full-time, part-time, as well as self-paced, which is a really nice option because then you don't have to wait for an actual start time from the bootcamp program. And you can really just learn on your own pace and watch videos and do projects based on the time that you have. So one thing unique about the Tech Academy Cybersecurity Bootcamp is that they also specifically focus on software development combined with cybersecurity. So I do think that's a really interesting approach, but of course I am biased because I come from a software development background, but I also think that knowing a bit of coding, understanding what the code in the back end or the front end of a website is doing is really helpful as someone who is going into cybersecurity because then you really already know the ins and outs of a client server side architecture and you won't have trouble talking to development teams or technical stakeholders that you probably will have to while you're in a cybersecurity role. So in this course, they cover fundamental cybersecurity topics, including network security and architecture, VPNs, building secure websites, learning Java and Swift, which are obviously two very popular coding languages, one for backend and one for iOS devices. So I do think that this course really covers the gamut of, of a software engineer who is very good at security as well. So you really get the best of both worlds in this course, but they also have financing plans available and they also have an ISA, which is an income shared agreement, which is a great option to choose if you're someone who wants a bit more security in terms of their payment options. All right, so the next cybersecurity bootcamp on this list is the Flatiron School. This is again another very popular cybersecurity bootcamp. It's probably one of the originals that you would probably have heard about and they have options from full-time as well as flexible cybersecurity bootcamp options. If they do full-time, they have in-person ones in Colorado Springs and New York, as well as a full-time online option. If you want to join their flexible bootcamp, then all of those options are online and they also all have varying start dates. So whatever you see here on the screen may have changed by the time you watch this video, if it's in a few weeks or a few months from now. But this cybersecurity bootcamp is one that has received many, many awards throughout the years from Career Karma, Course Report, 
and other organizations for being the best coding bootcamp, the best cybersecurity bootcamp, as well as the best data science bootcamp. So obviously they are very well-rounded and this bootcamp is split up into eight different phases where each phase you learn a different topic in cybersecurity or different skills or tools. And then at the end, there's actually a capstone project, which basically is the equivalent of a senior project if you're graduating college. And their cybersecurity course covers everything from system security to networking to governance and compliance, which I know is not everyone's favorite, as well as Python, which I thought was really unique. And then also cryptography, application security, as well as cyber threat intelligence. So all very good topics to discuss, of course. And as for Python, they're using it specifically for scripting purposes. So also I may be biased since I had done a lot of Python scripting in my previous role. And it's just a really easy to use lightweight scripting language or programming language and definitely a great option to learn as one of your first coding languages starting out in a bootcamp. So if you decide to do the Flatiron Cybersecurity Bootcamp course full time, it's a 15 week course and you'll basically be treating it like a full-time job with eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, interacting with different students as well as your teachers, which honestly gives it that real world school experience. And I think it's a lot easier to focus that way as well if you know that you're working around with other people as well. This course also comes with paired programming sessions, a cohort with other students, as well as group work with your instructor. So they really do frame this course similar to a course that you would probably have in college. Now, if you choose the option to go for a more flexible schedule, then you can actually choose between 20, 40, and 60 weeks to complete the actual boot camp. So it's the same curriculum, but you get to work independently, but you'll also still have the group cohort sessions as well as one-on-ones with your instructor. The cost of this bootcamp is about $16,900. This is the same price across the board, no matter how you choose to learn and complete the bootcamp, whether it's self-paced, online, or in-person and full-time. They do require a $500 deposit, but they also have different financing plans that are available to you depending on your circumstances. And this program also has scholarship and diversity and inclusion awards. So definitely keep that in mind if you're a diverse candidate. I always end up talking so much when I have videos that list out a bunch of different things. So I'm sorry if this video goes more than 20 minutes long, I would try to cut it down. And also the sun is setting. So you know I've been talking for a long time. But yeah, the next bootcamp I wanna talk about in this list is the UC Berkeley Cybersecurity Bootcamp. So this is an online bootcamp that is also part-time. So it's a 24 week part-time program. And it is very similar in a way to the Columbia Cybersecurity Bootcamp, where it teaches you different tools and skills that are specifically catered towards pen testing and ethical hacking. So a lot of Wireshark, a lot of Metasploit, a lot of prepping you for CompTIA certifications that are more entry or early career but it also emphasizes modern information security as well as technical proficiency. They also provide some form of career services that, that are likely comparable to what Columbia has to offer. And the cost of this bootcamp is about 13,000. So it is cheaper than the Columbia bootcamp, which is why this could be a better option for you depending on finances, what the courses are actually teaching. If you do a deeper dive of the topics and the actual week by week curriculum that you'll go through, and this course is also taught with weekend and evening course options. The next cybersecurity bootcamp on this list is one that I think is really interesting because it is specifically made for cybersecurity analysts, hence the name, the Claris Way Cybersecurity Analyst Course. So if you're someone who is interested in being a CSA or a cybersecurity analyst, then this just may be the perfect cybersecurity course for you. So this bootcamp is six months long. That honestly sounds a lot longer than 24 weeks, but they are equivalent. And one interesting thing is that this course is made for beginner to advanced professionals. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how they make some cybersecurity topics relevant to someone who is just starting out in cybersecurity, as well as someone who may already be a cybersecurity professional. This is an online cybersecurity course, but one really interesting thing about it is that they actually provide a 15 day free trial. So you can actually you know, test everything out, see if you like it. And if you don't, you can get away, no questions asked, and you don't have to pay anything. So that's definitely a huge plus for going into this bootcamp specifically, especially if you're someone who is like me and likes to kind of see what your options are and getting to see what the curriculum actually looks like before you commit and basically pay a large sum of money is really helpful. So it seems like they're definitely confident in their actual cybersecurity course if they are willing to give you a free trial and see whether or not you stay. So I do think that's definitely a pretty good sign. So because this course is specifically catered towards cybersecurity analysts, they have different modules that cater towards actual IT experience that you probably will find at normal cybersecurity boot camps, but they also have a module specifically on the SOC experience or the security operations center. And this is basically the 
foundational role that cybersecurity analysts are looking to join or they're working specifically in an SOC. Their curriculum also covers topics in the CompTIA Security Plus. So if you get the certification after you complete this cybersecurity bootcamp, it's kind of like a double whammy with the completion of bootcamp as well as your CompTIA Security Plus. They also cover topics like OSINT as well as Kali Linux, which are pretty typical for most cybersecurity bootcamps. And then of course, basic cybersecurity topics like SIEMs, IDSs, firewalls, and operating system security. And the cost of this bootcamp is about $12,000, which honestly is not bad out of the list that we've gone through so far. The average seems to be around $13,000 to around $16,000. So this is definitely on the lower end of the spectrum, which honestly is already a year of tuition at a small state school. So don't get me wrong, definitely still a large sum of money. Okay, so number seven on this list is the Simply Learn Cybersecurity Bootcamp. So Simply Learn is actually a really interesting one in the way that their courses aren't specifically cybersecurity bootcamps, but they are courses that focus specifically on helping you get a certification, or maybe you just graduated and you're a postgrad and you and you are trying to advance your skills in cybersecurity, or maybe you're already a cybersecurity professional or a professional in tech and you want to get that extra push in your career to move forward and learn some new skills. That's how you know there's something for everybody out there, not just someone who is an entry level person in cybersecurity, but there are always reasons to keep learning whether you're going for something more intermediate or advanced in your cybersecurity career path so starting from their cybersecurity postgraduate program it's a six-month program that also has master classes from MIT faculty so obviously that is very impressive the MIT College of Computing is actually one of the partners of simply learn as well as CompTIA and the EC Council so very big names in cybersecurity so there's definitely a lot more reason to trust simply learns courses but most of their courses do specifically focus on helping you get a certification whether it's a CompTIA certification the ceh the ciSSP basically if you want a popular cybersecurity certification that certification is probably on the list of courses that simply learn has so because they have so many courses and many of them are listed at different prices i will just include the price of their cybersecurity expert course which is really gonna blow you guys away. And it is about $2,500. Now, obviously this isn't a full on bootcamp. So that is likely the reason why this price is a fraction of what you see in the rest of this list. But even for just a cybersecurity course, if you're someone who already has experience, already had their first job in cybersecurity, and you're really just looking for that next push in your career, then a course like this is obviously the way to go and not a bootcamp. They also allow you to make monthly payments. And some of their courses also include exam vouchers for certain certifications that you might be taking and that of course is based on their partnership with the EC Council and CompTIA. Okay, so I have actually been recording for about an hour and a half now and I definitely don't want to bore you guys with a hour long video. So I'm going to list the last three runner ups of the best cybersecurity bootcamps out there, which are Springboard, Full Stack Academy, and Brain Station. Of course, if you guys are interested, you can do a little bit more research on these cybersecurity bootcamps while you are shopping around for the best bootcamp. And of course, this is gonna be really personal depending on what you wanna learn, what jobs you wanna go into, if you want to get a certification after your bootcamp, how much you want to pay for your bootcamp if you want to go to a bootcamp that is affiliated with a university so many many different options out there and some of them have scholarships so i would definitely take advantage of those if you're applying all right so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for following along with me i know this was a long one and i'd also like to thank aura again for sponsoring today's video if you guys want to stay secure browsing online and keeping your personal information personal then i would definitely check out the link below and get your two-week free trial there's nothing to lose because it is a free trial all right so that's it for this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you found it helpful to you. I appreciate all of you so, so much. And I post videos every Wednesday and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.